everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks mating tip. This one's called Don't Fight With or For Your Mates. You can see I have a, an assembly here which is a, a table frame made out of aluminum extrusion. And down the bottom here at my, in my status bar, it says it's fully defined. I scroll through my feature tree and you can also see that it's fully defined. I don't have any parts that are freely floating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something evil here. I'm going to make this face, and I'm going to make this face. I'll apply a nice little perpendicular mate there. <laughs> and it goes through and it gives me some errors. But I force it to happen anyway, and now I've got a tree full of errors. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to put it back on the server. And the next guy who opens it up is going to, you know, be cursing my name and everything like that because of course they have this tree that's got all these these uh, errors in it and they've got this all these mates that have errors in it and they don't know where to begin right well they used to not know where to begin but here's a quick tip we've got this error message down here called overdefined I'm gonna click on that and it gives me this this nice little uh, nice little list which yeah I say a nice little list a whole bunch of mates and these are all the mates that there's something wrong with them the yellow ones they can they're solved but they're part of the they're kind of part of the problem although they're not the cause of the problem a quick way nine times out of ten will work is you'll have maybe one or two mates here that are red which can't be solved which means if your if your model looks like it's supposed to then it'll be one of these red mates. So you'll find it and it actually highlights it. I'm going to move this out of the way. It actually highlights it in the model. So you can see, is this one perpendicular with that? Is it supposed to be? And in this case it's not. It's supposed to be parallel. So we're going to go in and edit that. I could have also suppressed it or deleted it altogether, but instead I'm going to go in here and change it to parallel. Now I'll click OK and what you'll see is that this list now has no mate errors in them which means when I cancel out of that my assembly is once again fully defined <laughs>